Hello, my name is Penny and this is Penny Art Emporium. I have just finished this painting, which is video 88 in the last few days. And I have got this one, which is number 67 in my videos. Um, and I feel that I would like to do something a little bit similar on top of what I have already got. I think I would quite like to lighten the whole thing up a little bit. I feel that the bottom area is quite dark. So I thought if I do a similar technique to what I did on this one, um, I'd like to go over the whole canvas to add some colour to this white area at the top and then fade out the very bright flowers so that they will be a little bit more hazy um, and then add some impasto flowers as well. So I will put that onto Hyperlapse and uh, I will try this time not to keep spinning canvas <laughs> so that it doesn't make you too dizzy and uh, we'll see how that goes. So I shall get started.
socks on and as you saw I faded out all this top area because I want it to look a little bit hazy I felt the colours are too bright at the top so I wanted it to sort of fade down a little bit and then I have mixed up my texture paste and my white paint here with some palette knives um, and the one that I have chosen to use for the texture paste is this opaque matte texture paste um, I found that when you mix that with this Meven um, white paint which is this one um, it takes the shininess off of the paint and just thickens it that little bit. So I'll do a few little flowers um, so you can see how I do it and then later on I will put it on to hyperlapse. What I try to do is with a tissue just rub out some of the faded bits on the really pretty areas. I think this pink and this yellow is quite pretty so I did just sort of unfade those a little bit but a lot of this will be covered up anyway by the time I finish so I think it's probably a good place to start last time I had my canvas raised and um, on an easel I thought today I would try it flat just to see how that went really. It also meant that I wouldn't be spinning it around such a lot because I did think last time if I was watching it spinning around I would have found it really hard to watch <laughs> so that was my thoughts. I thought I would move around the table rather than spin the canvas. So I'll do a few little flowers I mean, this is all very new to me, so it's the second time I have done this. But I really liked my last one, so I thought I would quite like to do another one. And I'm hoping that as I get better with it, that I'll be able to do really good flowers. <laughs> At the moment, it's just a case of me practising um, how to get nice shapes with my palette knife which as you can see I'm not so good at I do really like this style of painting when I see other people's paintings, I think they look really nice. And I did think, I thought I got my paintbrush ready so that any bits that I wasn't keen on, I thought I'd be able to kind of scrape away. I just do what the cuts there. That's not too bad. So at the moment I'm just using white, um, but then I plan to add some colour to the white and I am going to do a lot of these um, things and uh, just try to vary them a little bit I guess. I quite like some higher up. It should look really pretty when it's all finished.
it's coming along. I will put this on hyperlapse. I'll perhaps just do a bigger flower down here. It might be a bit easier for you to see. Because I want a few down here anyway. And then I'm hoping to kind of sculpt them out a little bit. Do some different shapes, some with bigger, longer petals. What I'm going to try to do is choose any bits that to me look a little bit ugly to go over, I guess. Let's see if I can do just a few little, small little ones. Better. Some areas are quite pretty, and some areas are not so pretty. quite well. Last time I was spinning my canvas around but it works quite well with me just moving around the canvas this time. There, so that gives you an idea. I'm going to carry on and do a few more and I will put this onto hyperlapse for you so that it will speed it up.
putting some final touches to this painting. Um, it has taken quite a long time to do and I wasn't able to video all of it because it took such a long time. I'm hoping that these videos will all go together. There's about 10 of them. Uh, I tried to keep it as short as possible for you, but just to give you an idea of the stages that it took to get it to be like this. Um, so this paint is mixed with the texture paste again. This is just white to make these fluffy little cow parsley flowers. And the bit before that was just the grassy bits in the green. Um, we're using the palette knife. And a lot of this I also did with the flowers freehand just to add some detail to the uh, impasto flowers that I did. So, like I say, I tried to keep the video shorter for you because uh, it would, you know, it took me hours and hours, days really to do this. So, I will do a photograph at the end and uh, and you'll be able to put it on pause and have a good look at that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Something a little bit different. I really enjoy doing these impasto paintings. This is only my second one. But I really like the way that the detail all stands out. I'll see if I can get this camera to come down to show you. There we go. There, so it just gives you an idea, a little bit closer up, what this looks like with all the texture. And uh, for a second attempt at impasto, I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. I need to get a little bit better at the shapes of flowers and get him to control the texture paste but I think my second attempt I'm quite pleased with that I love all the colours so I hope you enjoyed watching um, I know that it's a bit difficult to follow and uh, I'll see you next time bye bye